Hey guys, Twisted Maxi here. Just have a really quick video for the new tool update. Tool 2.4 just entered release candidate status, meaning all patrons have access to it. It's planned to go public two weeks from now if no issues are found. Anyone who's used tool previously knows that the grouping box was a little bit clunky and only allowed for a square box to be placed. As of 2.4, I've taken some features from Creator World and implemented them in the tool to allow for more flexibility. For those Creator World testers out there, the improved tool grouping will be included in version 0.08 of the alpha as well, which is coming very soon. First off, the grouping box is now a polygon you can define however you like. It will also follow the curves of the terrain for a more accurate visual of what is and isn't inside the boundaries. Players might also recall the grouping box only working for a single level at a time. That's no longer the case. If you have objects on multiple floors, you can activate them all by placing a grouping point on that level. I'm going to show you how to do this in live mode first for the users with tool only, but then I'll cover the much smoother method using build mode. Remember you'll need testing cheats true before tool can be used in live mode, or you can install my always testing mod. So we have three levels here. I'm going to shift click on the ground to bring up tool options, click set grouping box, and we're going to repeat that, but we're going to go up to the third floor. I'll set two here, but it doesn't matter as long as there's one up on that level. We'll finish the shape and finally close it by setting a marker close to where we started. You'll see it's now generated a box with a horizontal line for each level we've selected. Now, if I shift click tool options and select toggle group, You'll see that all three levels are selected and can be moved as needed. A reminder that if you have Snap to Terrain on, you're going to see all of your objects fall to the ground floor. So undo that, turn off Snap to Terrain, and try again. So yeah, that's a little tedious still. That's why I heavily recommend installing Better Build By as well, which aside from many other features, allows tool and build mode. Once you have both mods, you can enter Build By, Press Shift T to bring up tool mode. I'm going to move my tool dialog to the left real quick. Then just shift click anywhere to place a group marker. We're going to repeat that, grabbing the multiple levels again and close it up by shift clicking near the first marker. So we have the three horizontal lines again to denote that we have three levels selected. And if we go to toggle group, once again, we'll see all three levels are activated and can now be moved with tool. Of course, in build mode, you can also use Control z with tool open to undo any changes. Alright, that's pretty much it. Have fun with it. There's plenty of opportunities for my other mods to grow as a result of Creator World research, and I look forward to seeing how players use them. If you want to stay up to date with my mods, please consider hitting subscribe and the bell. It's also a super easy way to support me and my work. Thanks everyone, and I hope you have a good day.